is a bright February day. Dunnard Jr. won the pole with Tony Stewart was outside. Johnny Benson and Jeff Gordon won their respective duels. And the pace car makes the hard left turn to pit lane. Here we go, coming to the green flag. Terry Bradshaw waves the green. We are underway for the 2001 Daytona 500. Three wide away for the lead. Earnhardt Jr., Johnny Benson, and Jeff Gordon. Into turns three and four. Three by three, and Jeff Gordon going to get the advantage. And he's going to be out front. Jeff Burt goes on a pit road to make a pit stop. To the line, Jeff Gordon made the first lap of the race. Russell also was in South Mark Barton helping him. And also being stopped for a look at the pack behind them. A denser pack than last year's 500. You see straight on the inside right there. He's on the inside of Ricky Ruthers, Taylor Bonnie. There's Matt Kenseth, four wide behind them. Oh, he turns him. Ken Schrader, Ricky Rudd, Taylor Bonnie gets collected. The big one already. John Andretti. All oh, with damage as the caution comes out. Andy Houston. Kurt Busch, the rookie. Dave Blaney almost goes on his side. Jeff Goring got involved. Terrible crash. Let's see if we can see this replay, what happens here. So there are four on the back stretch. Kinsel's looking at the inside of Terry Labonte and Ricky Rudd. Is there any three? This was for the top ten spot. Right here, fifth. Looks like Rudd just comes down a little bit. Hard to tell from this angle. Schrader had nowhere to go. He was just an innocent bystander. And they get Sadler sneaks through. Oh, Labonte almost had it cleared. That clicks Andretti. Lily there on the outside, Mark Martin also with him, he has nowhere to go. And they're just along for the ride. This happened in the front of the pack, so it collected everybody, basically. And here's Donhart's on board. Our happens, our happens. To the inside. Oh, Kyle Petty got upside down. This would end Earnhardt's race. Earnhardt would be out of 2001 Daytona 500. And what we're watching here is Kyle Petty's view of the wreck. Driving the 45 and what would have been his son's Adam's car. Who was killed in a practice crash in New Hampshire of last, se of last year. Buckshot Jones, his teammate. Wow. All things considered, that's a pretty safe barrel roll. This will, of course, be the red flag for the 2001 Daytona 500. Rusty Wallace, Ward Burton, Elliott Sadler, Ricky Craven, and Michael Waltrip, your top five. We'll be right back with NASCAR on Fox. 28 cars in the race, 27 on the lead lap. Rusty Wallace is in first, who's never won a Daytona 500. We have Ward Burton in second, who's never won at all. We have Elliott Sadler also winless, Ricky Craven looking for a win. And Michael Waltrip won his first win, 472 starts, no wins. Casey up with the rookie in sixth. Coming to the green flag, we are back underway in the Daytona 500. And it looks like the lap car of Jeff Burton's going to give Elliot Sadler a chance to take the lead, and he will. Rick Craven helping him behind him. Another four wide again. We saw this work last time, led to the big one. These drivers are professionals. Ricky Craven, the tied 32. He left the 50 car team after 2000. Now with PPI Motorsports. That Ford Taurus. He's gonna lead this lap. Here comes Tony Stewart, the second, the uh, second pole setter. And Craig's gonna clear him. Our fastest lap so far of the race goes to Bobby Labonte. We're gonna see you run. Fourteenth is where Bobby Labonte runs. Look at the pack behind him, three by three yet again. Four wide again. Oh, that one gets turned into the wall. Stacy Compton involved. The second crash. Jerry Nadu. Dylan R. Jr. gets involved. The pole sitter. Come on, guys. Matt Kenseth. Oh man, Jason Leffler and Kurt Busch get together, and this time this curse gonna be out of the race. Jeff Gordon drives by it. It looks like at what came down to Leffler right there. And they're forward again behind. There's Bobby Labonte. We were just talking about him. Robert Presley. Just gets clipped. Off screen. Leffler gets turned. 
Compton Grace Atwood. Atwood looks fine, honestly. Jason left for another rookie. The two rookies wreck each other. Robert Preston comes back down. Oh, Rusty Wallace got involved there with Elliot Sadler. Robbie Gordon got clipped. See, Arnold Jr. gets clipped there. Oh, Mayfield hit Leffler. That's who hit him. Oh, no, it's Kurt Busch. Wow, the spin cycle for Leffler. That Owen Ganassi car. 22 cars on the, lap, on the lead lap this time. Oh, excuse me, 21 cars on the lead lap this time. Jeff Burton is lap down, so there's only 22 cars left on the racetrack. And we're not even halfway done with the 500 yet. Green flag's back in the air, right away. Here comes Sterling Marlin. Whoa, Bobby Hamilton with him. The inside line there. Ward Burton behind Hamilton, and Bobby Labonte behind Ward Burton. And what's left of the pack? <laughs> Sterling Marlin, the core is light number 40, the silver bullet as it's dubbed. Four wide again, you see there Jeff Burton, Mark Martin. Four wide. Can they compose themselves? Teammates. And they can. We made it four wide and they didn't wreck this time. And Marlon leaves at the halfway point. I saw Steve Farker earlier. Yeah, he ran 11th that last time. Dojo and Michael Waltrip and Steve Parker out there. All three DEI cars are in the race, but guess who's not? Their owner, Dylan Hart. He wrecked out in the first crash. So now they're running by themselves. And Dell Jarrett took the lead on that lap. Kevin's going back, store behind him. Dell Jarrett blocks, he's going to lead this lap. How about this throwout action? Look at this. Ricky Kevin on the outside, Nemo Tech to the inside, Bible One to the inside. You see Dell Jr. there. He was involved in that second wreck. He's coming back up to the field. This is all about grouping the field back up. You see Steve Park right there, Mike Wallace in the seven car. Tony Stewart at the inside of Dale Jarrett. Ten laps to go. One well, of the moves stick, though. The Gibbs cars on the inside versus the entire outside line. Oh, never mind. Marlon Nemechek, think better of it. They're going to the bottom. All right, check that. Marlon decided it. Look at this. Three wide yet again. They're three out of the four wide. Johnny Bits. Whoa! Here goes Marlon, Bobby Labonte, another wreck, Dale Jr., Mark Barton, Bobby Hamilton. And we have a caution flag, Jeff Burton gets involved. Been a lap down all race long, and it looks like his race is going to come to a conclusion there. There's Bill right there. In the new Everham 9 car after giving up his 94 car. See, they're running a four wide right here with Michael Walsh on the outside, Johnny Benson on the way outside the line. Yeah, Bobby Labonte comes down on Sterling Marlin, and they slide to the infield. Hamilton couldn't make it by. Ward Burton, another one of the fastest cars. Dale Jr. got taken out. Started first in the race. Pole sitter. Labonte got by fairly well. Oh my gosh. Bill Elliott, Jeff Burton gets collected. Matt Kenseth and Mike Skinner, they had to have a ride out there. Right along with Matt Kenseth here. He saw it all. What an avoidance by the 17 car. Last year's Rookie of the Year. And he's showing that he has the stuff to be a star in the Cup Series. 16 cars on the racetrack, all in the lead lap. Rusty Wallace, Jeff Gordon, Sadler, Earnhardt Jr. still in the race, Compton, Labonte, Mike Skinner, entering your top 10 now. Kenza, Steve Park, Craven, Mike Wallace, name check, Michael Waltrip, Johnny Benson, Del Jarrett, and Tony Stewart in first. Pace car pulls off for the last time. This sets up a five lap shootout in the Daytona 500. Green flag's back out for the final five laps of the race. Here comes Dale Jarrett to the inside. Can it stick though? Michael Walter, the fast lap of the race that time by. Or excuse me, I just under the cars left. Johnny Benton ditches Tony Stewart. You see Joe Nemechek right behind him. Mike Wallace behind in the inside line. Dale Jarrett, the rush number 88, is going to lead this lap. Four to go. Here comes Johnny Benton in the 10 Valvoline car. Valvoline last seen on the Mark Martin number 6 machine. 
Viagra signed on to the 6 car, and then went, and Valvoline went to the 10 car. Jarrett left the outside line now, and here comes Neiman took the Oakwood Holmes number 33 Andy Peach Racing car. And Stewart to the inside, it's a three wide battle for second. Stewart's going to draft the 10 car, he has the preferred line, there goes Michael Walter to the inside. Walter's never won in the Cup Series. His old ride, Mike Wallace in the 7 car behind him. Throw about for third. Stewart's tracking down Johnny Benson with 3 laps to go. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when the 20 car gets to him. There it is! Benson tried to block, couldn't get there. Stewart going the first, making the pass. It's going to stick. Look at this battle back here. Kenza, Steve Park, Mike Skinner to the inside. It's not going to work. Dale Jarrett passing Michael Waltrip. Dale Jarrett's wanting the lead. The defending 500 winner. He's going to try to get it back. There goes Mike Waltrip to the inside. Johnny Benson. Two laps to go in the 500. Bobby Labonte was one of the fastest cars of the race. Wrecked out and one of the big ones. Uh, Joe Gibbs has the horsepower. Here comes the Yates number 88, the DEI 15 behind him. Mike Wallace to the inside of the 15, not going to get there. Oh, he will. Three wide bound for second. That's about for third. Tony Stewart takes the outside. He knows something we don't. He's been up front all race. Out of four. Trying to get a draft. To the white flag. One more time around Daytona. Oh, look at this. Jared blocked Stewart. Wasn't enough. Stewart's going to get to the inside. Stewart got a hell of a run on the tri-oval. Side by side. Stewart versus Jared as they go to turn number two. Stewart's going to have him cleared. He's going to drop to the inside. You see Mike Skinner behind the back stretch. Behind Mike Wallace. Stewart making the pass. Three out for third and three out for fourth. But it's not going to be enough. Coming out of turn number four. This is it. Tony Stewart, after a crazy sequence of events, started second. He's going to win the 2001 Daytona 500. Dale Jarrett second. Mike Wallace third. And what a race this was. Insanity in the final laps. The caution set up the five lap shootout. And boy was it worth it with Stewart. The Home Depot number 20 Pontiac. What a run it was for the 20 car. And Stewart's going to celebrate at Daytona. Burnout's in the grass, similar to what we saw in the 1998 500 whenever Earnhardt won his first 500. His junior season in the 20 car. Here he is, the Daytona 500 champion. Thank you for joining us for the 2001 Daytona 500. I will see you guys next time.